everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the first episode of part 2 for the second season of Mushoku Tensei. It's a bit of a mouthful, but uh, yeah, also known as episode 13 because it's just, it's not a new season, it's just uh, continuing the old season. Uh, not really that old, but I guess previous would be a better word to use. But anyway, uh, the, the point is that, uh, yeah, we're back into the show. Rudy, in season two, he goes to the school. He meets up with Sylphie again, although he doesn't know it's Sylphie. And she ends up being the, the, the key to curing his uh, horrible illness. So by the end of the, the previous part, we were in a good place, you know. I think he even said he was going to marry Sylphie. Uh, that's that's always a great to hear. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely curious to see exactly where we go from here. So... Let's jump on it and check that out. I've been pretty eager to continue the story because Mushoku Tensei as a whole, I'm pretty, I'm pretty into. You know, like when they do stop making anime adaptations, seasons, whatever that is, wherever they decide to stop, if they decide to stop before the end, I will, I will of course go read the light novel to make sure I get the entire story. I mean, even if they do adapt the whole thing, stuff is still going to get cut out, you know, because the, the nature of adaptation. So regardless of, of how it ends prematurely or not, I will definitely go to the light novel for the full story. But for now, we're here for the show, so let's just jump on in. And uh, three, two, one, play. That was not my best intro ever, but you know, we're it's it's fine. <laughs> of course. I have missed you, Rudy. Thank you, I forgot her name. Julie, we picked her up last half, last part. Oh, hey, yeah, them, they're here too. <laughs> Definitely, I miss them. And you know, Rudy, Rudy would know why. <laughs> Finally. Finally. <laughs> But, um, I guess having someone less curious would sort of be like going in heat from that perspective. <laughs> he has reason to stand tall now. Now that he can stand tall. Yeah, I was about to say, do they, do they even know? But, yeah, they don't. They didn't. <laughs> Slow Clavin and Julie. <laughs> oh, it was a struggle, all right. But we're in a good place now. You're right to be on guard. Don't be fooled, he'll still impregnate you if given the chance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Nobody's got time for that when you're trying to get home. Oh? Right, I guess that makes sense. Has he responded? <laughs> oh, hey, uh, Ar Ariel? <laughs> of course, Sylphie. Oh, yeah, some of the names might take me some time to get back in my head. <laughs>
<laughs> I I mean I get some paperwork. I, don't ask me. <laughs> you know how expensive houses are in this economy. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. You gotta get somewhere to raise a family, you know? That shouldn't be too hard in this world. Oh, did I forget to mention that? <laughs> it's the least I could do to thank her, you know? <laughs> I appreciate that. Barely tell I was upside down. I mean, I'm sure Sylvie's not too picky. That's a good point, actually. Good luck on that one. Unless it's haunted or something. Nice little club there. <laughs> I mean, it's it's big for sure. Uh, haunted, yes. Well, similar similar idea. Okay, yeah, that would definitely drive the price down. So something definitely going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going in there alone. Zano and Cliff, you're my backup, my bros, let's go. I swear it looks like a place you'd explore in a video game. Yeah, it's not his fault. Yeah, this is a real fixer-upper. But if we can get it fixed up, it'd be a very nice house, yes. <laughs> yeah, that technically. I know what I'm doing. I can definitely tell Cliff is a little bit more nervous, less, less experienced with this sort of thing compared to Rudy. Which is understandable. Let's not break the house. I'd be very worried to go in any kind of basement type of location in a house like this. Like <laughs> the door locking behind me and getting stuck. Some ghosted ghost popping up in front of me and behind me. That would suck. <laughs> Do I have to? I do wonder what we're dealing with here. Like, is it a demon? Is it a ghost? Just a crazy person? <laughs> Okay, don't raise a death flag, please. It's not a party until Lisa shows up.
But yes, as far as death flags go, it doesn't get much more stereotypical than the whole, you know, I'm going to get married after I finish this job or I'm going to propose after I finish this job. Same idea, you know. Luckily, he's got protagonist plot armor, but otherwise I'd be a little bit worried. And that's definitely a ghost. Sleeping like a baby that's not inside of a scary house. I feel like it's making too much noise to really be a ghost. But I'm pretty sure we searched the house pretty thoroughly. I didn't see anything. <gasps> Daddy, I heard a scary noise. Go check it out. If you can. The guy's out like a light. Some of them has super strength, doesn't he? Like, I'd be nervous to wake him up and just, like, accidentally get smacked when he's in his sleep, you know? But more importantly... When did this become a horror show? The difference in politeness levels of how they speak. Moments like that make it very clear. Up there... I mean, I didn't see anything, but the camera lingered there. Yeah. Maybe the Demon Emperor girls live in here. That'd be something. I feel like I haven't seen her in a while. Kiri Kirishima? I don't remember her name. Kiri Kiki. Kirishima. Yeah, that definitely was the, the, the mark there for that. We're gonna go back and they just stole our stuff, huh? That's what I would expect. I'm so on edge as I watch this. I keep expecting something to just kind of know. There's hands up there. Those are very blue looking hands. That definitely looks like a demon or something. And the head's gonna pop out, it's gonna scare me. I just knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> and. Still got me. <laughs> yeah, that would scare the shit out of me if I was there. Like. Good thing we have that eye. Ooh. That's got a sting. And just like destroyed that club. Well, maybe not. Bless this child. <laughs> Panicking a little bit, but he's he's getting it done. I didn't seem to do anything. <laughs> I mean, he tried, but let's try something more physical. Just tearing up the clothes. What even is this thing? Almost like a mannequin, like mechanical, like. Now they get a better look at it. Is this some kind of artificial creation by someone? Sure, buddy. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. <laughs> yeah, I can't blame anyone for being scared on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More or less what I was thinking, yeah. 
<laughs> Moving dolls are the best kind. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta give this a nice hole in the right spot. Take it home. <laughs> My boy always thinking. <laughs> I think we're not quite on the same page, but close enough. Okay, you may have pissed them off. Uh. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Yeah, don't break his head. He's not evil, he just misunderstood. Yeah, that's the next big question, like, who made it, you know? That's something that we definitely need to find answers for. Yeah, the door... Yeah, the door really could... Yeah, I pointed out earlier, the door clearly opens. So it might be a workshop, like, in a secret basement area. Okay, we have the mold area there. So that gives us an idea of how it's made. The book should be helpful. Probably like a diary of progress. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that sucks for them. <laughs> yeah, if that's the case, and the place is pretty much safe to live in, so <laughs> works out for us. We're just bringing that back? Okay. Thank God we have him along. Borrow a spare lab. <laughs> Had a feeling he would be... I mean, he can, I, he's demonstrated that he can handle it. You're a good man. I think we can trust him with it. Almost like a refrigerator from that angle. <laughs> yeah, I never would have expected it to be a doll, you know? I, that, that's not what I was thinking at all. 
Hey, we actually get to spend time with Sophie. I, I'm not sure I believe you, Sophie. Because I also picked up on the fact that that did sound a little bit wooden, as he put it. Like, I wasn't sure if it was just me, though. Oh, wow. They, wow, that looks a lot better. Damn. How, how long did that take? <laughs> the important things. The hair of the house has to match the hair of my girl. This is the house that we're going to start our family in. Let's we'll figure out a room for a certain red-haired girl, but we'll worry about that later. And of course a blue-haired girl too. Is that the bath? Looks like a well more than anything. <laughs> they really do act like a newlywed couple. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure you want me to, not sure you want me to ask that, answer that question. If you have more girls, then it is the answer. I guess she mentions kids because kids because that was the first thing where my mind went as well. Like, how many are we gonna decide on getting or having cre created? Is the episode really almost over? Damn it. I wouldn't know. I don't think we got to see much of it. Yeah, she didn't run away. Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> no take backs. <laughs> Sylvie is just so cute. That's all we ask, really. <laughs> there we go. We got the yes after we got the house. Mamori Taimono. Indian song. You know, before the episode ends, I want to be on top. I mean, it's as long as you do the same. <laughs> A little bit too close. They kissed. Well, yeah. What a lovely W way to end off the episode between our new couple. Wedding reception. Okay. Okay. Well, that was the thirteenth episode of the second season of Mushoku Tensei. And yeah, we're back into it with this episode, getting to kind of get a bit of a glimpse of our various important characters, like 
Catgirl and Dog Girl, Shizuka, Julie, Z- Zanoba, uh, Cliff. You know, you know to name a few, but uh, some have more screen time than some more screen time than others for sure. Especially Cliff and Zanoba because they went on a adventure with Rudy. Because you know he wants to know what to do now. You know with the whole marriage thing, what should you do first? And getting a house was apparently number one on the list. So yeah, he took it upon himself to do that. <laughs> you know, just had to find something that was really nice and very affordable, which usually comes with a big downside like ghosts or you know a curse or something, which it did. But usually. No, nothing we can't handle, you know, but uh, uh, took care of it. We weren't really expecting to have a moving doll be the uh, the monster of this house, but it was. We killed it. We took home the uh, the manufacturing equipment so we can make our own. And, you know, that's in addition to getting a nice house for cheap. We, we, we get that as a nice little bonus. So you really can't argue with the result of this. Pretty much went as perfectly as possible. They really did nail some good horror vibes with... With that whole segment, especially with the actual reveal of it, like it showed the hands first, you know, and then I was expecting the head to pop up, but instead, the hands left, and then it's just like, I'm sitting here what for what feels like 30 seconds, just waiting for it to pop out because you know it's gonna happen. The camera's not ling- 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 lingering on there because the cameraman's doing a bad job. No, it's there because it's gonna come out, so it just stays there long enough to where you know it's gonna happen. It could happen any second now. <laughs> And when it when it does, it still makes you jump. It makes, you, but uh, and it did. It definitely did. <laughs> but yeah, once we once we killed it, you know, it wasn't as scary. Once it was like a like a corpse, you know. But uh, just Zanima just on his shoulder carrying that big old thing. My shoulder hurt just watching that. Also, Cliff panicked, got scared, <laughs> ran away. And you know, again, I don't really blame him too much. It was it was just funny though. He tries to make <laughs> excuses, you know. And Rudy wasn't going to bully bully him over it, so it's, it's, it's all good. It could, I was definitely could have gone worse. You know, he could have done worse. At least he tried his exorcism spell. It didn't work because it was just it was a doll, but, you know, he, he gave it the effort. <laughs> but. Yeah, now, yeah, we have Zanoba, you know, in charge of this new project, I guess. <laughs> but it ran it off the episode as we should have with taking Sophie to the house, which has definitely got cleaned up a bit. <laughs> You know, and it now looks like a very, like a, you know, like a house a noble would live in, you know? Like, it's it's legit. Sophie's pretty impressed with it. They have this whole newlywed kind of atmosphere uh, about them, you know, especially as we're on the bed, you know. But, uh, but yeah, I think things are going pretty smoothly. He he proposed officially there, and she she said yes officially, so we can we can move forward on that basis. But... But yeah, you can definitely tell Rudy's the happiest he's been in a long time, which makes perfect sense. But but yeah, you know, happiness can never last forever in this show, right? You know, I expect another teleportation incident to happen at some point. You know, maybe they'll throw him in the ocean next time. <laughs> Who knows? But um, but yeah, we're in a good place right now. And uh, yeah, judging by the title, we're, we're going to get some more wedding stuff next episode. So, you know, are we going to get just like a full-on wedding reception with the... Do you take your bride, blah, 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 now you may kiss the bride. You know, that whole thing. Will, will we get that next episode? I don't know. But um, hopefully if we do have some fancy wedding reception, wedding reception, we can have Roxy and Eris go to it. I don't know how viable it is. Probably not, but I I, I want to see it, you know. But, I, but anyway, that's all I really had to say. So, you know, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and follow me on Patreon for early access to, you know, future episodes of this and stuff. So... So yeah, Um, bye-bye.